constitutions will be amended and in any case there's room for amendments of constitutions so on that score uh, i just want to say i've been consistent and i don't think uh, i misled anybody um, on this particular issue uh, i want to state that on the question of debt the country right now is facing a challenge of debt and from 2015 for instance i was very consistent uh, to the kenyan people during my political campaigns then stating that we need to rationalize our borrowing to be more prudent so that the profile of our debt uh, can have more concessionary funding the portfolio should have more concessionary funding and limit the levels of commercial uh, debt that we were incurring. I think that remains an objective that we must pursue as a country going forward because we will still borrow, but we must borrow prudently so that the debt repayment process does not harm other activities of government. We should not be borrowing to deal with our current expenditure. We should be borrowing so that we can engage in serious capital uh, development, whether it's infrastructure, water, health, etc. So these are critical issues that I would be saying that working in a collaborative manner with Parliament, we can find better solutions uh, collectively in dealing with this particular debt uh, challenge that we have. But ladies and gentlemen, I think it should also go on record that we must be an honorable government and honor in this kind of situation for any nation is your ability to repay your debts. We should not be a country that should walk into the defaulting mode and it will be therefore necessary that going forward uh, we work closely with each other uh, and Parliament also plays its oversight role so that the honor of this country uh, can be maintained on this debt issue. Um, therefore, uh, I would just want to say that we will be paying close attention, personally I will be paying very close attention because the heartbeat of this country is our economy. Uh, the people are suffering the cost of living is very high and the initiatives that we must bring forward uh, through legislation and uh, even policy interventions must be those that will mitigate uh, these particular challenges but they must also be realistic and be in accordance with the law um, I also want to touch uh, briefly uh, on the issue of uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto. Uh, I think it is important that at the very earliest that political document uh, which was the flagship for Kenya Kwanzaa is translated into a serious uh, and fundable policy document of the government of Kenya highlighting the specific areas that uh, uh, were the flagship, things that would create jobs, the issue of access uh, of credit to, to, to the wider section of the, the country at affordable rates, uh, the issue of, of, of making sure that uh, uh, the cost of living uh, is mitigated and people live with dignity is going to be forefront in uh, uh, what we want to do. So we will engage all stakeholders and I'll want to plead that we work very closely with Parliament so that we can remove the backlog in pieces of legislation that may be obstacles towards moving forward. Uh, we'll be open to also listen to uh, ideas uh, and even support legislation that will come uh, for the 